Alrighty, so per your email, you want to take a look at your reel first. So I'm going to watch this here. Alrighty, uh, let me take a look at your reel. Bring down the sound a bit. Cool. Not sure if you need this one. Uh, you know, for for this whoa, for this type of animation of this thing flying in. I don't know. This is cool. It's cool stuff there. That's definitely cool. Even that's neat, but this I would take out. It's kind of long. I wonder if you could trim. Like once you get to here, you can cut it out. This whole flying thing, but yeah, it could be. You could keep it. Not sure if you need this, because you've shown all the physical stuff with the paper. So for that to kind of fly in and do this, I'm not sure. Like you've shown other things that are more impressive than that. Same thing with this. Your beginning shots are more impressive than... This just seems like you have... It's kind of a retreat there. I don't know. I would take this one out too. Yeah. Keep those two. They're pretty cool. But if you want to cut down on time, I'm not sure if you need them. But it's cool to see here. I will keep them for now. Here the question is, did you do the VFX here as well? Because otherwise, you know, static poses. There's not much to see animation-wise unless you did this as well. So I would, I would probably note that somewhere here, you know, animation and uh, FX or something. Same thing with this. It's pretty static. I mean, you have a camera move, you have a pose going into one other pose. I'm not sure if you need that shot. I mean, I guess it shows variety, but like in terms of animation skills, it's not huge. But if, if you have done all of this, that's super cool. So you just have to clarify. Same thing here. I'm not sure. Yeah, it could work. It's just the minimal style of it, you know, like that. It's basically just a pose, switching into another pose. I'm not sure. But it's only compared to what you've shown before. Like your other work was more complex. So I don't know if you need this. It looks cool, but I don't know if you need it. Same thing with this. It's basically. You know, a foot coming in and then this. It doesn't show much. Again, like I would take this one out. I know it's for context on this, but like that is more interesting to see kind of a weight lift. Even though, again, your other work is more impressive. I would take the previous one out and keep that one, even though that one you could take out too. That one is more interesting to me than this one, but. Yeah, you can keep that one. It's a bit shaky. I got a very similar one for Transformers that I'm also debating if I need to put that in there because it's basically that, just minus the shake. You just don't see much. There's not much to see. It's very blurry, very shaky. Uh, I'm not sure, again, if that one is needed. 
That's cool, yeah. Okay, that's for that. Now on the list you have Superpower, Drum, Monkey and Elephant. Separate shots, so we know this one. I really like this one, so yes, I would definitely keep this one. Or have this one on your reel. Let's see what this is. Not sure. I think if you start around here, like that beginning into this, could be maybe till here-ish. Could be an interesting mechanic shot. But then after this, it's basically a repeat. Like that's a whole second half to me I would cut. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if you need this one. But I would probably go to like from 73. I will keep the first half. Um, but yeah, you don't need to rest because it's just a repeat. Let's take a look at this guy. It's cool rig. Cool. Yeah, there's a lot of good stuff in there. Yeah, I think the thing that catches my eye, we were asking if there's anything... This seems there's so much speed and momentum for that to just kind of woo, fold in into that. I think to me it would be like shoo, one more hop. Like the momentum can't just die so quickly. So even if it's this, and if you don't do a hop, but the root would be here, and and you know the arm could be back here, and then one more arm adjustment, um, so that there's some forward move. I think that, and then the swing down here. This one feels just a bit odd just because it's it looks like this whole area, including this here. No. Well, there are a couple of things. So A, it's a bit of an IK arm. You can see how the whole body's moving, but this hand kind of stays in space and the rotation of the wrist is not changing, especially through here. So that feels very much like an IK arm. And then body-wise, this whole section, there's no breakup. It feels like a 2D card that just kind of floats back. So for me, these are the two big sections I would address, just animation-wise. But as a shot, it's cool. I would definitely keep that one. Then we're moving on to this. Cool. Yeah, that's cool. I'll keep that in there. My main impression is that this seems pretty heavy. It's a big uh, elephant. And there's something about through here that, bup, 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 that feels just a bit lighter. There's a little bit of weight missing that's at this play here. It feels, just feels bigger. And here suddenly feels almost like a kid. Kid elephant running forward. But it's a cool shot and that's cool to see too. I will keep that one. And then here, last one, you are talking about tail, no tail yet, just general idea. Oh yeah, I remember that one. Yeah, I think as a general idea, it's cool. I like that. You might have a little bit of camera adjustments or you you're out globally, bring the camera back a bit so that it's not so cut off here. Not that it's super bad, but there's something about... There's so much room here. We can we could bring the camera like this much lower. I think you'd be okay and it gives you a bit more room here. But I like this. I like you got little mechanics here. Then you got some behavior stuff. Then you got nice bigger mechanics. It's always fun to see how they jump. That's fun to see the struggle and then the result. I think that's cool. I would continue with that shot for sure. But overall, like you were asking if the timing and ideas, I think yes. I would just watch out. He seems slightly 
it seems something seems slightly broken, especially this this leg through here. And it feels like he wants to go this way, but comes straight towards us. There's something in that curvature of that walk that feels a bit broken. It's cute. I think it something feels slow. It just depends how, if you want to go photo real on this, or a bit cartoonier. But there's something where I feel like you want to make that a bit snappier. And then you can hold that a bit for a nice hang time. And then make that drop. Especially through here. There's a bit of a weird slowdown. It feels like it speeds up. And then here it's suddenly slowing down again. And then here it's speeding up again. So just watch out the timing there. That's all cool. I'll buy all this. And again, it would depend on the reference. The only thing I'm reacting to is how low the paws are. It's basically pushing itself out here, maybe pushing the leg straight. But because they're bent and coming up here at the same time, if there's a hole, how is the creature able to get up there? I'm curious to see more reference for this. I don't know if there would be a paw out here pushing down and for, you know, for balance so that this leg would be here. Or there's something that just seems physically kind of strange through there unless it's just this foot being super strong again we'll have to look at the reference maybe that's what they do just something feels odd but then again i have to say i'm not an expert on this type of action here on this creature so i could be talking out of my behind on this but as a whole yeah i like it it's cool uh definitely keep that uh and that's all i have here on your scenes that you sent me yep that's it so for the rest, I will email you my thoughts. All right. Thank you. All right. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whatever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right. Thank you.